Hey babies, on today's episode of Nostalgia Button, we're looking at all the Austin Powers figures, baby, yeah! Groovy. Groovy. What you got this week? Did you get some toys instead of the groceries? I wanted this since I was a kid. Now I live in a box, but at least I chase the dream. I gotta intercept that package. All my wife will leave me, and I'll end up on the street. Nostalgia button. Let's hit it hard. All right, let's begin. Uh, we have the uh, Austin Powers. Mmm, very nice. Uh, Austin Powers <laughs> figures. Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. How much? That's a wrong, wrong for intellectual property. Um. Oh yeah, you can see. Oh yeah, this is. This, <laughs> the how magical. <laughs> you can see my hair. Um. Yes. Yeah, so the first lines of figures that they released. Um. McFarlane figures. They actually More released. McFarlane. We had McFarlane last week. Yes, we did. With the X Files. With the X Files. And what they did was, over 1999 and 2000, they actually just released all the figures from Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, and The Spy Who Shagged Me. All in, you know, completely random orders. So obviously the first one wasn't popular enough to get its own line of figures. Um, I think it was more of a licen licensing thing. Oh, okay. Once once they saw that it was popular, yeah. you know, they obviously like, oh, let's license this property. And yeah. so McFarlane um, just took it and ran with it. So let's begin. Um, these are really fun figures. These, these are just so much fun. Um, and you don't have any of these in the packets. You've opened all of them. No, I do have some still in the packet. So you've got multiples. I have multiples, and I'll explain why as we go. So I thought we'd start off with the the, the classic Austin Powers. Um, this one comes with a sexy dictionary, <laughs> a Union Jack flag, and interchangeable hand. Ah, I see. We're talking from about last, last week. week. Yeah. So you can change his gun to a finger pointing. Yes, yeah, so you can change out his gun hand, and you can have him pointing his finger instead. And there he is there. And this is one of the only ones that the, the box still works. Where's the button? There it is. Oh. Let's uh, check it out. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a fun character, isn't it? He's just... He's so much fun. He really is. Yeah. Um, Ness is, next is Miss Kensington. She comes in her classic uh, jumpsuit. The one that she wears when they're going into Dr. Evil's lair before she gets her silver dress. Yeah, so we just watched the films, didn't we? <laughs> we did. So we're all across we it this we week. We watched them for a while, so it was actually yeah. fun to revisit them. It was so much fun, right? They're fun movies. Um, Bit of a giggle. W when we were watching them, we didn't realise how many um, things in these movies we quote in our everyday lives all the time. All the time. All the time. Which is not one of <laughs> those quotes, of but them. it is. So she comes with a champagne flute, a bottle of champagne, and a magnifying glass. So they're her accessories. And she actually works as well. You can accept me as Agent Kensington. Oh, come on. Oh, all right, then. Vanessa. Was that so hard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can tell Dave Warwick uh, has watched these movies a lot. Oh, very much so. A lot. Yeah. Okay, so here's... Dr. Evil. There he is there. And Mr. Bigglesworth. And Mr. Bigglesworth. Come, Mr. Bigglesworth. My favourite character, Mr. Bigglesworth. And so this figure mm -hmm. um, is the one I actually had as a 19-year-old. Um, oh, you only had, you had one. 2000. So this is your one from when you were 19. This is when, oh, when I was 19. Miraculously, it still has Mr. Bigglesworth. However. It doesn't have the other stuff. It doesn't have the... One million dollars, as it is here in uh, the box version. Hmm. So I'm actually going to open <gasps> no, this you're today. Not. Yes, because I want that one million dollars. But then you won't have it in the package anymore. That's fine. <gasps> That's fine. He's opening it. I'm opening it, baby. I'm letting it breathe. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Oh, it's so exciting. Day. And the best part about opening them fresh from 22 years of being in the on the bubble 
is this bit here, figuring out whether or not the electronics still work in, here we go, here we go. Oh no, I'm gonna take the tab out, I forgot. Gotta remove the tab, let's see if it works. No, disappointing. Sad. At least this one still does though. That does it? No, it doesn't, sad. <laughs> but now I have the one million dollars accessory, which is really important to me. So, See, it would have been go. more fun if you had um, an extra Austin, because there's that, um, that plot line in the spiky shag, and you know, there's two Austins. Oh, yes. I should get two Austins. You shouldn't have given me that idea. No. I'm getting a little thirsty. I might just have a little bit more of my... Oh my Groovy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, let's yeah. move on here. So this next one, it's funny you mentioned multiples because I do have a desire to get multiples of the Fembots. So there's the Fembot figure there. Yeah, well, there's best. Them, isn't it? Yeah, there's quite a oh, few. Excuse me. I'm not yawning because I'm bored. I'm yawning because I'm tired. How old, Sophie? Now nine months nine old. Months. Yep, you're still in sleepless night mode, but you're yeah. a trooper. You're here doing the vid. Good for you. Okay. <laughs> <You're so cute. laughs> Groovy, baby. Are these puns gonna get tired by the end of the video? I don't think so, baby. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she comes with a little fan and these little like things that you do this stuff with or whatever. And this really. Uh, complements and goes with this Austin here where he's um, overpowering them with his mojo and they're like Whoop. they'd be defeated this one comes with a lava lamp of course it does. and a toothbrush because oh, he needs to brush his teeth by then? Uh, and possibly we've got amazing developments in dentistry <laughs> um, so yeah so what I want to do is one day yeah buy a whole bunch of these fembots and have them on display all around this but it's just Austin. the one cast of fembot obviously more than one actress was a fembot but it's just this one like lead fembot that yes. you can get as the figure yes then I, th I think you work? could no she doesn't work there's only okay. one other one that works oh. um, and then Wait, last but not least from this series one and series two is Scotty Evil or Scott Evil <laughs> Send in the clouds! Fran for Abyssinia. Why didn't she get a figure? I don't know. There's no she's Fran for every, She's in every movie. She is. You know, I think maybe rejig re the license, guys. She's Give us some more figures. The story as well. Oh, absolutely. So this is kind of like a mashup um, because this is what he wears in International Man of Mystery. However, the skunk that he finds in his bed that Minnie Me pops in there is actually from. Um, the Spy Who Shagged Me. Well, because Mini-Me is only in The Spy Who Shagged Me. Mini-Me's not in the first No, one. that's right. Yeah, exactly. He's only in The Spy Who Shagged Me. And so the other really interesting thing about this figure is that he's wearing a Kurt Cobain t-shirt and it was originally released with oh. the t-shirt and on the graphic and on the shirt, but then they had to blur it out for the second the release. Reasons. The licensing okay. reasons. So, so you've you can, only got a blurred one. I've only got a blurred one. I do want to get the one where he you can actually still see his shirt, which is out there. Okay. Some expensive, is it? Oh, it's about 40, 50 bucks, but no, I haven't. So not terribly expensive. Haven't bit the bullet yet. Um, before we finish up, this is the carded version of that Austin Powers from oh, the very beginning. That one too? No. This one is um, actually for sale. So oh, there you go. Is? If you want a piece of nostalgia button um, memorabilia, um, you can grab this one. I think I want about 90 for this because this is the green card variant. Oh. Yeah, that's right. So that's if you see some. this original one here has got a yellow, green, and blue sound chip, whereas yeah. this one's all green. So I oh. feel like maybe it's r rarer. Anyway, that's how I'm listening. So. Yeah, baby, yeah! Okay, on to uh, the next... Uh, it's still Series 1, Series 2. They're all still in the... But this is the next movie. <laughs> I'm going to go watch a movie. <laughs> um, so here's Austin. Um, in his um, opening credits. <clears throat> yes, from The Spy Who Shagged Me. And he's got his camera this time. He's just looking fabulous, as always. Look at him. Groovy, baby. Um, and... Felicity Shagwell. I, mean, I didn't even know that Austin Powers was popular enough to have figures. What do you mean? 
You didn't know these existed? No, not until you started collecting them, like, last year or the year before. I had no idea. Yeah. But I guess, I, you see, I enjoy watching movies, TV shows, stuff like that, but I'm not one for collecting the merchandise. No, no, that's true, you don't. Whereas you are, so... Yeah, I love it. And I, yeah. I always loved the Austin Powers movies, but... With the advent of the, um, you know, the lockdowns and everyone on their phones and more time than we ever knew what to do with, I rewatched the movies and, and then, then I got felt so nostalgic for the toys. I'm like, oh, I want to get this, I want to get that, and yeah, I so them. I got them, and now it's completely out of control. I'm only missing a, a couple, a handful of figures from this line. Um, oh, so so you here's, don't even have them all. I don't have them all. There's there's uh, a couple that I'm missing. Yes. Yeah. So here's Felicity Shagwell, um, looking fabulous. She comes with her American Heather flag, Graham. Heather Graham, yes. Her CIA badge, there it is she, there, um, so tiny. She had really great chemistry with Mike Myers. So great, was it? the on-screen chemistry. Fun. Yeah, they and were so, really so great. Did, um, Elizabeth Hurley. Both fantastic. Yeah. Um, there's a little, I don't know, like a oh, massive that's mobile her, yeah, phone. That's her tracker to find fat bastards. <laughs> It is, isn't yeah, it? Yes. She had to get the tracker on him by any, any means, means necessary. Possible. Yes. Poor and she comes with a gun as well. Mm. So yeah, very cool accessories for um, that figure. The next one on the list I've got is the um, Mini Me character. Um, and he actually comes with his, his chair. His little chair. With his chair, yeah. So which is cute. weird because... Um, Dr. Evil doesn't come with a chair, so he... I mean, it would have to be pretty big to get that figure in a chair. That's true. It makes more sense for the mini-me to get a chair. Yeah, and so there he is up in his chair. He does have the holes in his feet, so you could display him, like, standing up. But, I mean, you want to have him in his chair. It's perfect. There he is. Right there. Oh, boom. Um, wasn't very nice. Sorry, mini-me. There you go, buddy. He gets thrown around enough. He does. Now, these next two are from uh, The Spy Who Shagged Me as well. When we go to the moon um, and we have Mini Me Moon Base. There he is there. Mm -hmm. And he comes with loads of accessories. What I love when you have smaller figures, like if you look at the Guardians of the Galaxy um, Groot. So not Groot. Um, the raccoon. Rocket. Rocket. Yeah, he the always comes. Rocket. My Rocket favorite. the raccoon. Yeah, he always comes with loads of accessories. <laughs> So he's tiny. So the toy makers, I was like, okay, you're getting a small figure, but look at all the extra stuff you get. So you get a little tiny briefcase full of money. You get a little mini Mr. Bigglesworth. Oh, because he does have a mini Mr. Bigglesworth. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Don't eat him. Love him. Pet him. <laughs> and you know, I want chicken. I want liver. Meow, mix, meow, mix. Please do liver. <laughs> it's so quotable. And you also get this little... Um, Pen. Pen and the oh, thing that he passes over to Scott. Guy. Yeah, Die Scott. Doesn't actually say that on this, oh, but that's what it's it. meant to be from. Yeah, it says from the desk of Dr. Evil, and then oh. it just says D, and it's got like the little hangman game that yeah. obviously it's going to be filled in and say Die Scott. Um, and then, last but not least, of this line that I have um, is seri from series one and two is the actual moon base um, Dr. Evil, and he comes with. Austin Powers' mojo and one million dollars, but like the briefcase version, so there's probably more in there. Um, uh, there's also one more figure. If you could hand up these two for me, mm -hmm. baby. Good girl. Awesome. So here's Fat Bastard or Fat Man. Um, does he say, is he Fat Bastard on this? Yes, he is. Can you hold that? Yeah. So this is the carded version. This one's for sale as well, because I bought a whole bulk lot and I already had Fat Bastard. So I've put him back on the card. It's, it is loose, but you, at least you still get the card. But um, it does actually say Fat Bastard on the, um, on the packaging. Yes. But later on, they got in trouble for that and they changed it to Fat Man. Maybe not on this toy, but there's like a, a bigger versions. And um, they've changed it to Fat Man. But the character's name is Fat Bastard. Yeah, I know. But, you know, it's a toy. So they probably were like, well, maybe not say but Bastard on the toy. But watching Austin Powers. Still, it is a toy. You have to be careful with um, with that. Now, there's a little button here. And I'm pretty sure it says, I farted. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't work. Oh, the batteries in him sad. are gone. So there you go. So there's uh, Fat Bastard. Thanks, babe. He's good fun, isn't he? When is he in his Scottish regalia? That's when he first steals Austin Powers' mojo. Oh, his, yeah, um, yeah. And, he, and the smoke comes out. Comes out of the bagpipes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Very thank cool. you so much. No now let's have a look at this um, double pack. Now this one is from The Spy Who Shagged Me. 
um, and is a special edition figure. It's pretty much just by itself. There's nothing really else in this line, um, but it's really cool. I don't want to open this one. Um, no, I, I think it's kind of cool by itself. It's still got its price tag there from Lobo's Collectibles. In... Oh, is that where you got it from? I did, yes. Oh. I did get this one from Lobo's Collectibles. Um, and it even says austinpowers.com on the back of the packaging. I wonder if that's still alive. Um, and it, this one talks as well. So there you go. Um, now let's move on to the gold member figures. Now, I have them down here. Do you have any of them opened or they're all in their packaging? No, the gold member figures are all opened. Okay. So this is my original I one. Gold. I love gold. Yes, he's tight, like a tiger. There he is there, and you can open up his chest here, and it's got the gold member in the there, key. the key. Um, but we later find out that um, his member is also the key um, at the end of the film. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit tricky to get back in. I'll do that later. So there's gold member. We also have 70s Austin. Um, this one is huge. Hey, I I'm wearing 70s clothing. You're looking very shagadelic, baby. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're um, not the, the white top, but the top underneath. That was my mum's from the 70s. Whoa. So actual 70s. That, well, this jacket's definitely 70s. But it's not from the 70s. No, this is from the 70s. It is? Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, this is uh, uh, St. Michael, 100% cotton, cotton, double long. Double <laughs> long. Well, that's what she said, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he comes with his cane. Um, what do you call this thing? A mirror, a compact. Compact, so he's obviously need a compact for some reason. Um, and also his hat. It's very, very large. There it is there. Get a good look at 70s Austin. Um, oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah, dear. he's always falling over that one. He's so giant. And also See, the they need the little. Pack. They need the little magnets. They need the magnets, yes. Oh, yeah, from, from prison. In Gold Member, when they go to prison and they do the, the rap scene, there they are there. I am missing the fat bastard from the Gold Member movie. Um, it is a bit pricey on eBay, so I've got one I'm still looking for, but it's the one where he's in his sumo outfit yeah. and he's all nude and it's 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 a pretty full-on figure. So I will pull the trigger on it eventually, but I don't own that. What about Foxy as Cleopatra? Um, Foxy never gets a figure. She didn't get a figure? No, she doesn't Ooh. get a figure. There must have been a Destiny's Child licensing issue there, so who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the miscellaneous. Um, just grab anything from that table, Dan, and we'll have a quick chat about it. Okay. This was um, part of the lot that I bought recently. Um, and it's just like a, a giant, like Austin Powers doll, essentially. Oh, is that like maybe part of the range that had the fat man figure? No, that's a different that's range. A different range yeah, range. there are quite a few toys they released. They really went wild with the license. Okay. But you can also get Dr. Evil and a Fembot in this same. Um, line so there's that one there mm -hmm. let's keep it moving this is my okay this is my favorite piece I'm going to hit my nostalgia button on this I remember one. well not this one this is not the one but I remember this in your bedroom on your bookshelf yeah, so I have two of these. Yeah. This is one that I bought at Lobos. Dennis put put this in the treasure <laughs> box at the front of the store and I freaked out and Yeah, babe, I just so much fun. I remember this, like Danielle said, you yeah. remember it as well. And um, well, that's in really good nick. This the one's in fantastic. One, no, all, like, yeah. Faded and stuff. You didn't bring it over? No, no, it was sun damaged and everything, and it doesn't work, but this one still works. I tried it this afternoon and it didn't work, and I was freaking out, but thank goodness. Because you can't get in there to change the battery, it's no, all you sewed have up. To unpick it. You have to unpick it and change the battery, and one day, if it does stop working, I'll do that. But he's still working, so on your Austin. Um, this oh. one is another. Ah. Yes. Shh, shh. I got a whole bag of shush with your name on it. And there it is. Dr. Evil's bag of shush 
with voice chip, but um, there's nothing in there. So I don't, maybe it's, maybe it, it stopped working and whoever had it got rid of it. But this is another find from Lobos in the, <laughs> in the treasure chest. I reckon he was putting them in there just for me. Um, so thank you, Dennis, you're a legend. Um, this one, I recently bought on eBay because we had this on yes. our fridge for years and all of the magnets got ruined. And I save an Austin Powers search now on eBay and this one popped up, 20 bucks. So take my had money, to buy it. had to get it. You know, all those classic moments from um, Gold Member. Um, and you can see, look, yeah, she's she's not there. She's... Maybe they couldn't get, oh, there she is. No, there's Frau, but oh, I, I Frau. mean, I thought you were talking about Beyonce. Frau. Yeah. Foxy well, Cleopatra, she did not, not want her likeness used apparently. So there you go. Um, we've got two more, let's finish on that one. Yeah, so let's grab these ones. Again, these are from Lobos. Um, even still got the price tags in the back, but I think Dennis gave me a deal on them. Let's go with Dr. Evil. God, you spend so much money on this stuff. I do, but Stop I mean... It. But now there's Stop a... It. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! But now there's a reason to spend the money on it, because we've got a YouTube channel to show the whole world my ridiculous collection of crazy stuff. Oh, you're an idiot. Yeah, man. Yeah, baby. <laughs> So here's so um yeah you do yours first. Oh the girl in swinger. Yeah. Okay. Oh he do, just says the one thing. So you don't know what you're doing, do you? You no. have to press there, 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 and there. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah baby. Is that all of them? I think so. There you go. We're in swinger, baby. Yeah, that's it's not one them. down the very bottom. Yeah, yeah, on his, on his little face. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, the, that's the one you were doing. Yeah. yeah. And so here's Doctor Evil. Uh, need the info. Last one. Idiots. I love how the battery's kind of going on it. Why I must be surrounded by idiots. Smashing baby! Okay, yeah, last probably, one. This has to be the best part of this whole collection, doesn't it? This is what I spent almost $200 on the lot. <sighs> I've since, I will eventually oh, yeah, make my money back thing. for this one thing. So I'd never seen it before. And that's the rule in collecting. If you haven't seen something, grab it because this one's pretty special. Let's check it out. <laughs> He's a Swedish made enlarger. But it doesn't oh. say Oh no, it can't. You, you actually might have to bleep that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think can you, you might have to- Can you say on no, YouTube? No, I don't think you can. Seriously? But yeah, it's his enlargement pump. So there it is. It's shagging your bag. Start using the Austin Powers Swedish Mead p enlarger. And very soon you'll be saying this sort of thing is my bag, baby. I'm telling you, it's not mine. One Swedish Mead p enlarger pump. That's not mine. <laughs> so this- Mr. Powers. Mr. Powers. Quickly. Quickly, come on, now. let's go. This is probably my favourite scene in the whole, all three films, when he's he's trying to say, none of this is mine. You know, he's got the male symbol, one French cravat, one pair of Italian May boots, buongiorno boys, you know, <laughs> one Swedish May in larger pump. That's not mine. <laughs> one warranty card. Filled up by Austin Powers. I'm telling you, baby, this stuff's not mine. One book, Swedish made and larger pumps and me. This sort of thing is my bag, baby, sus, by Austin Powers. All right, I'll take it, you know, just to keep things moving, you know. <laughs> You're right, baby. <laughs> That's my favorite scene. And guess what? You could, it actually has all this stuff in it. It's got his book. I don't want to open it because it's a little baggy, but you've got the little... <laughs> and you've got the warranty card in there as well. So okay. clearly just a novelty item, but this is definitely the um, the favourite part of the collection. What's your favourite part of the, of the movie, Danielle? The, well, I just, they're all, they're, they're just so much fun. 
the movies themselves are just so much fun. But the yeah. part that the very first time I watched it that I laughed the most. Yes. That I laughed the most was when, so when you watch the start of the movie, Mr. Bigglesworth is a white fluffy cat. Yes. And then when they go into the cryogenic freezing, when they're unfrozen, he's lost all his hair and transformed into one of those sphinx cats. Yes. Yeah. And Austin doesn't know that because Austin has only known Mr. Bigglesworth in the 60s as a white cat. Yes. And then when they're um, spying on them, him and Vanessa are spying on them out the front of the <laughs> hotel. And... <laughs> That's Dr. Evil's cat. How can you tell? I never forget a pussy. Cat. <laughs> and they come out, they, they see the, the security guy come out with Mr. Bigglesworth, and he's like, that's Mr. Bigglesworth, you know, Dr. Evil's cat. And Vanessa's like, how do you know? And he's like, I never forget a pussy. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> and I was only that play on words. That play on words because I was only young at the time. I was maybe like 14, 13 or fourteen. Yeah. And I just really under I'd only found out what the other meaning of that word was. So I thought it was hilarious. And you'd probably rewind it and like I never forget a pussy cat. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. So it was um that's probably the part that stuck with me the most. Mm. Yeah, I just I still remember just laughing, just being so caught off guard by that yes. joke and just laughing so much. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's what I think what stands the test of time with these films is that the comedy is still funny the jokes are still funny mm -hmm. um you know the characters are iconic they've got such longevity um and i think that's why it'll just live on in um, popular culture for years and years because because of that because the comedy is just so good and whenever whenever we're driving and having to do a three-point turn which takes more than three points <laughs> we're like a austin power singer <laughs> Because with the car, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and um, the part with Christian Slater. I'm going to go across the street and get you some orange sherbet. I'm going to go across the street and get you some orange sherbet. And when he's like, I've got you your orange sherbet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's good fun. There's oh, fun movies. There's, there's such just good great movies. Fun. If you haven't seen them, what are you doing? Get out there and just binge all three films. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Nostalgia Button. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button, baby. Subscribe with your bell notifications turned on. And leave a comment below. Tell us what your favourite part of Austin Powers is. Yeah, baby. And if you've gotten to the end again, thank you. Thank you, yes. We really appreciate you taking, you know, 20 the... minutes to spend with us. Yes, we, we like spending time with you, baby. Mm. <laughs> I'm married to him. Yeah, aren't you lucky? <laughs> <laughs> See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs>